Hello friends, Metapod here, and today we're playing some more Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Uh, by the way, I want to apologize for the, like, screeching, buzzing noise that's going on in the background. I don't know how much you can hear it, but it, there's some kind of, like, buzzing noise in here, and we can't figure out where it's coming from, which is a little worrisome. But, uh... Yeah. Let's uh, continue where we left off, which we were outside Melmund and we were ready to go. Actually, I want to go back in here and uh, let's go to the item shop. Is there an item shop? No. I was going to say let's go buy some... Uh, You know, those things. Um, gold needles. But it looks like that's not going to be an option. Oh my gosh, we got poisoned already. I still love this music though. <laughs> okay, this is a boring way to start out the video, is by fighting a bunch of tarantulas. They don't even, oh they actually, they do give decent experience compared to some of the stuff like gargoyles. At least I don't, actually I don't remember what gargoyles gave, but like, it's better than fighting wolves I guess. Frank leveled up. I got, what is that, 6 HP up and a strength. Nice. Strength up is strength up is good. All right, so let's head over here because we got the star ruby or whatever it was called last time, so we can go to the giant's cave and feed it to him, and he'll let us go through. Lesser tiger might drop X potion. I didn't pay attention to cards level up. Oh. You have Star Ruby? Give me Star Ruby and I let you pass. Crunch Munch. Mmm, nothing tastier than rubies. Is he just gonna walk off the edge of the screen? Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. He is, he's just gonna walk through it. <laughs> he's just like disappeared. Okay, let's see, we got a door down here. Let us see, what is in here? Four chests! Yeah, see, war wolves, these guys are dumb. These are like beginning of the game enemies and we're like still fighting them. Look at that, 372 experience, this is so crappy. A great axe, 620 gil, 450 gil, and a mithril helm. Uh, the mithril helm improves both defense and evasion only by one. Um, the great axe... Raises attack by two, but accuracy goes down by two. I'm not sure if that would be better or not. And we still have the Coral Sword. Let's equip the Great Axe and see if we start underperforming, and then we'll switch back, because accuracy is important because it determines how many hits uh, you get in with your attacks. Looks like we're still getting four hits, so the axe might be the way to go. Shh. 
Shadow. That looks new. Did we go to the inn? The only 270 experience? Yeah, all our MP is back. Alright, let's head down this cave. Sage's cave. I don't think they put stuff in bots in this one. But we'll check anyway. I don't think those uh, like spots to check occur until Final Fantasy 3. Sage Sada. So are you the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? So you are the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cavern. Oh yeah, because we saved, or we stopped the vampire and nothing changed. Here, take the staff with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. We got the earth rod. Yay. Now we have to go all the way back through. Restore the crystals to grace. Oh my gosh. Of all things for him to say, he says that thing that, like, random NPCs everywhere say. They could have given him a cooler line than that. level up we got uh 336 nice and intellect went out too nice that's a good level up <clears throat> now we have to go back through giant's cave more or less our tigers maybe we'll get x potion back down to the Devil's Tail or whatever this place is called. The little peninsula down here and go into the cave. Come on, let's go. Let's stop fighting stuff. I want to go in the cave. There we go. Oops. Why does it start on this side of the stairs when we need to go to the right? 38 damage. What is that? Anaconda. I think that might be new, Anaconda. My Anaconda, nope. We got... There's the stairs. Troll. Oh, that looks like a new one. Is it naked? 254. Strength up and luck up. That's okay, Rukus. Strength up is always welcome. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to see if Rukus can equip any of those, like, other swords. Oh, he can equip the Coral Sword and the Worm Killer and stuff. Effective against dragons, effective against aquatic enemies. Uh, they're about the same, I guess. 
So I don't think either of those things are around here. Oh, this is the wrong way. Oh, but the Quasar is pink. It's cool looking, it makes a pink slash. And it looks really cool too. Sword, it's so cool. Let's uh, heal a little bit. Are Pisco demons aquatic enemies? They kind of look like squid like. No, four cockatrice. Good miss. Okay, didn't parallel or didn't stone, didn't stone, didn't stone. Come on, you guys, you can do it. There we go. stone. I would prefer it if they drop gold needles. Oh my gosh, cockatrice after cockatrice. to give decent experience. They're not very hard to fight. We use the earth rod and open up the, uh, the bottom floor of the cavern of earth. Or the next floor. I don't know if this is the bottom floor or not. Oh, we got paralysis. there. There's a door down there. There's stairs down there. Okay, so this isn't the bottom floor. Let's head up to that door. Preemptive strike. Nice. My foot is itchy. Whoa, lots of treasures in here. Another paralysis. Okay, so there's a door. And there's a door. Those are the only two doors in here. We've got monsters. Is it an earth elemental? Oh no! Hyenadon. Gonna say they don't. Ah! Oh, there's an ogre mage. Crap, Rukus is gone. Douche. Okay, but Frank came back. We got a staff. All that for a staff. We do have life now. Monsters. Okay, it's this again. Let's attack the mage first this time. Oh, 
Alright, that went a lot smoother. Or more smoothly, I should say. 6 HP, agility and stamina up. That's, I'll take it. 3,400 gil. 1,520 gil. Monsters! Sphinx this time. We got preemptive strike, so let's just uh, chop away. Oh! Not doing a lot of damage. They're not doing a lot of damage either. Get some crits in and they do decent damage. We get lots of crits, so... Korad, 3 HP and 1 luck. 5,450 gil and more monsters. More Sphinx. Okay, Korad's not doing so hot. RIL got a level up. Uh, 4 HP only. No intellect, but we got agility, stamina, and luck. Agility is always good. Okay, it's all the way down there. We'll just kind of wander around until we get there. Troll. Yeah, it looks like he's naked and he's just like bending over so there's a shadow over his crotch. Holy moly, what is all this? That was a little scary. Got lots of experience, though. Oh my. We'll make it over there. <sighs> Please drop gold needle. There's six of you. One of you can drop a gold needle. Lucas leveled up. We've got three HP, agility, and stamina. Three gold needles. Okay. Thank you. He's either naked or wearing a thong. <laughs> either one is weird. I guess naked is not too weird. It's like, why would a troll need clothes? Monsters! Okay, I didn't realize he only had 9 HP. Monsters. This group again. 
Nice, took out the Ogre Mage before it could do anything. Just taking a little 1 damage. 11 damage. <coughs> 1,250 gil, more monsters. Preemptive strike, I like that. There we go, damage free. And we got a mithril shield. Nice. Is there nothing but that one door? Yeah, looks like it. I kind of remember this. And I think that door is where the boss is. Lots of dodging going on. Oh, of course he gets poisoned. Like one Kara left. Okay, little ball. Quick save. Okay, um. Hopefully that's good enough. Who speaks to me? Why would we go speak to the ball? Like, hello ball. Who speaks to me? <laughs> I am he who feeds on the power of earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the lich fiend of earth. Okay, they're just gonna attack, and we're gonna use Dia Dia Diaga. Then we'll haste our buddies. Two hundred fourteen, nice. Again, hey Sturkus. Diego is so cool looking. After we bothered with haste, now we get slowed.
Oh, that slow is really causing some problems. Okay, and it looked like it just canceled out the haste. We'll go ahead and def... Right, he's out of... Diaga, right? Yeah, poison and no frost, fear, no shock. I don't know if this guy can frost. Let's, let's just assume he can. Use no frost. We'll be like never going to use it anyway. Oh, we're out of haste! I guess he'll just attack. Um, we'll go with Fireaga. Two seventy seven. Ah, he's down. Magic was the way to go here. It's a good thing we bought Fire Ago before coming. Frank leveled up. Strength up, nice. Intellect and luck up, and a 30 HP up. Good level up there, Frank. There we go, we restored the earth crystal. Will it like replenish us? No. I think the crystals in Final Fantasy III did that. Alright, quad level up. 3 HP, but everything else goes up except strength, which uh, intellect up is what we're looking for. Agility and stamina up are both nice. I don't really know what luck does. And we'll leave through here. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now, but uh, <laughs> we're done. I guess we'll go see Sada again, or whatever his name is. Um, I'm looking around on the map to see if there's anywhere else we can go, but I don't know. So we'll check it out next time. I will see you guys later. Have a good one and bye-bye.